Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Thursday vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm really excited to bring you three new paper edger cutting dies from our friends at Creative Expressions. Uh, the paper cut um, collection includes the first day of Christmas or the we call it the partridge in the pear tree. It's got a wonderful partridge. Also the snowman, he's adorable, and heavenly bells. So let's get right at this. I'm gonna show you some cards that Debbie and I made with these. So the first is the first day of Christmas. Of course, on the first day of Christmas, you get the partridge in the pear tree, according to the song. And um, this one I actually used with a new product that we have. Um, this is Spectrum Noir uh, Sparkle Glitter Ink, okay? And this one came in a pack like this, okay? Get it at Paper Wishes and it has three different colors. This is a red, a gold, and a green. I'm gonna show you um, just how I did this, but first, let me show you the particular cutting die we're dealing with here. Um, this one with the partridge, let me measure this for you. This is at its longest, almost six and a half inches wide, okay? So if you were gonna put this on a card, Okay, here's the blank card. You're going to put this on your card. All right. This card is six and a half inches wide. So this is going to be too wide for my big shot die cutting machine. Um, that has a six inch wide platform. I happen to have it right here. All right. So let me show you how um, you can accommodate these cutting dies um, because the three that I'm dealing with today um, range anywhere from six and a half inches wide to six and three quarters inches wide. So some of you, that's gonna be a problem with your particular platform. Um, if you have the Gemini, which has a nine inch wide platform, that's just fine. If you have the Gemini Junior or the Big Shot, those have six inch wide platforms. What are you gonna do? So let me show you. This is what this particular card looked like when I put it through the machine like this. So I put the die here, okay? And then I actually folded the card like this and sandwiched it. I should mention before I run it through my machine, I always use just a little piece of stencil tape or washi tape, something that's a low tack tape and I just attach it here so that when it's not moving around at all. So then I've sandwiched it in here and then I'm going to put it between my plates, my very well used plates, and run it through my machine like this. So as you can see, I'm running it through so that the, it's like, this is five inches wide, okay? Now, then what are you gonna do? You have this, this top part, this is the back of your card now, but it has some indentations on it. Let's see if we can see that a little bit. So it's got a little bit of indentation. What am I gonna do? I just took a piece of paper and I glued that to the inside back. Oops, I should also mention. We're going to cut away. So this card, what you do is you cut right there. And you cut right there. And that releases that excess paper, okay? So now, as I said, I've got these sort of indentations from my dies on the back of the card. I just covered that with a piece of paper, covers it all up, and now that accommodates any size machine I have. Let me give you another example of what you can do. Oops. So on this one, I went ahead and did the same technique, but if you just don't want to have the indentation on your paper, I just took it and I just cut away the front part of my card. So now I have it and it looks like this, okay? And now what I can do is, is I can take a card. You would probably want to use your paper cutter for this so you have a nice straight line, but I didn't bring my paper cutter with me to film, okay? And then you would just run a little bit of glue right here and then you could just glue this cutaway card just like that, okay? And now you have no indentation on the back of your card and it works just great. You could also just take this and do a completely different design with it and I'll show you that a little bit later. Okay, so now we've addressed all the different kinds of machines and how you can handle that. So let's do some painting on this card. 
can get out my craft sheet. All right. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to open the card, lay it flat. And I'm going to start out with the green. Where is my paintbrush? Here it is. And I just like to have a little damp cloth nearby. And I shook that up nice and good. Let me show you, actually, it's got the inside of this. Victor, can we zoom in a little bit? It's got this wonderful metallic material in it. And it sinks to the bottom, and then when you mix it, when you stir it up, it floats all around, and you capture that with your brush, okay? I'm just going to take my little fine detail brush here, and I'm going to start with all of my greenery here. Just going to paint that. And what's great about this technique is you do not need to be the world's greatest painter. It's all about the glitter and the glitz, and you're just following the edges of the die. So I also want to take care of my little stem there on the little pear. All right, and then to give this a little continuity, you'll notice right here along the edge, let me see if I can open this up. I took my brush and I just painted right along the edge there and then stopped at the bird and then went all the way down, okay? And that just gave that a little bit of continuity there, which I thought was great. And then um, I also ran this particular image again through my machine and then I just took and I cut away this little sprig with the pear and then I just glued that under my bow just to give it a little something extra, okay? So I'm going to be finished with my green here. I'm going to clean off my brush. See, I hardly had anything on my brush, and it just really goes a long way. These jars would just last you forever. And what's great is, is it's not going to dry up on you. It's very, very liquidy. So here's the gold. As you can see, lots of, lots of that metallic sediment, lots of that lot of metallic sediment at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to color the pear. We get a little closer here, Victor. Thank you. And then for my partridge, once again, when it gets to the edge where there's not a clean line there for my die, I just went along the edge of the partridge. Go. Okay, you get the general idea. Very, very, very easy to apply and fun to use, and it's got a nice sparkle to it. Okay, so let's move on to the next card. Here is an adorable card that my friend Debbie made using the snowman. This so snowman is also six and a half inches wide, so you would use one of those techniques to accommodate your own um, machine and I love what she did here Debbie did some paper piecing so she ran um, this die through the machine for the card um, first she covered her card with blue paper okay and then she ran the the card through the machine and got her background image and then she did it uh, through white and then she went ahead and cut out the snowman okay so when doing this um, you're really just cutting out just this part here of the actual man and not really his hat or anything like that. So let me show you how she did that. She just went, cut away the nose. And then you have to use your imagination a little bit on the scarf. You just have to continue that line. Okay. And then down this way. To where you get to the arm. There. Okay, so you can see where I'm going with that. And then she just glued that right over the top of the blue image. And then on the back, she just paper pieced some of the areas with um, the black cardstock. And look, she even 
added a little ribbon around her broom, which I thought that was adorable. Added some snowflake dazzles and a script Christmas greeting. Adorable. Here is another card that Debbie did. This is just really a spectacular one as well. Okay, so with this card, she had two and they're reversed images. So how did she do this? Look at that. And then she went ahead and used the snowman again. Okay, and this is using the um, frame pop out die cut card from Hot Off the Press. And let me show you how she did this. So first, the frame pop out card comes like this. Okay, it's already die cut, ready to go. And Debbie took two pieces of gold metallic paper, okay? And she cut them to the size that she wanted, and then she put them right sides facing together. Okay, so the gold is facing in. Then she took the die, and she placed that here, okay? And then when she ran it through her machine, This is what's going to be. So it's reverse image here. And then she took her scissors and you're cutting away the excess at the bottom. Okay. And top. That. Okay, so that one goes over here. And same on this one. Okay, and that one goes right there. And then she backed each of these little bells using um, a red holographic paper. <laughs> it just fell out of my brain, what is that? Um, and then she also cut these bells right here another time from scraps of gold uh, metallic paper and then she cut them out and matted those so they have dimension and she foam taped those, okay? That is really great. Even like did the same here with some green paper. So much detail on this one, I love it. Okay, so let's talk about the inside. So Debbie took her snowman, okay, that she die cut out of white cardstock. Okay, we're just reusing this one. And then in the pack of all of the um, die cut cards from Hot Off the Press, you get these patterns. It's on the back of the um, packaging and she cut out the pattern and then she just placed the pattern. The pattern is meant to go right there as kind of an inset to your card. She took that and she placed it right over the snowman, cut that out so that when she then glued the snowman there, it fit perfectly. Isn't that clever? I love that she did that. So as you can see, these um, new Christmas, <clears throat> excuse me, these new edgers from Paper Cuts Collection they're really versatile, lots to do with them. I would really encourage you to take advantage of the special money saver that we have today. It is in the link below this video. If you're watching on YouTube, it's in the description below, um, as long with the link as well as a link to uh, paperwishes.com where you can check out more of our videos and our goodies. So thanks for joining me today.